Assalamu alaikum, good evening and welcome once again to Community Champions with me, Zakir Khan. Now, in this month of the World Cup, uh, with all its ups and downs and excitement, um, who else better to invite to our studio today to talk about local community sports than one of the leading organizations in Tar Hamlets when it comes to delivering sports in the community? And they are Valence Community Sports Association. Now, uh, allow me to introduce you to the guest. I'll start from my right, far right. Um, I have Muhammad Iqbal Hussain. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Iqbal, how are you? Fine. Iqbal is a founder <coughs> member and a, a senior football development coach for Valence. Next to Iqbal, we have a young man, uh, Hamidul Islam. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Hamidul, how are you? I'm okay. Hamidul is a senior player and a football coach for Valence. Yeah. Um, on my immediate left, I have Junil Uddin, who is the project manager and also one of the founder members of Fala. Welcome, Junil. Welcome, Zach. How are you? I'm nice. Looking smart? As always. <laughs> <laughs> and next to Junil, we have a, a very familiar young man uh, who is very well known in the community for his footballing attributes. Uh, he's none other than Shainur Rahman. Welcome. How are you, Shainur? I'm good. Shainur is, if you don't know by now, is one of the most uh, talented young goalkeepers we have in the football community, especially in Tower Hamlets and beyond. Now, uh, Valence Community Sports Association is a very popular organization in Tower Hamlets, and they do some fantastic work with local community young, and young people. Now, before I speak to my guest, let's see some of the work they do. We have a small documentary. Let's watch the documentary and we'll come back. Tower Hamlet Swasha Bashar Barar, Shubhita Bunchi to Shishikishu Turun Shopo Dyer, Kalad Hula, or Shastoko the Projan Metati, Purpodon and Potashita High, Valence Community Sports Association. Valence Football Club in Matumi Shuruhae Jatta. Bartomane, Art Take a Poncho Bocher Boishi, Pry Akhajer Beneficiaries Rete, Valence Community Sports Association. Podistante, Mul Kajikum Gudramati Rete, Community Sports Program, Volunteering Program, or Disability Health Program. Doshuk, Amadrachke Community Champion. बैलेंस कम्युनिटी स्पोर्ट्स एसोसिएशन आशुन जनी तादर शंपुर के आरोपी स्तारी तो ओके वेल देयर यू गो बैलेंस कम्युनिटी स्पोर्ट्स एसोसिएशन ओके एक बार लेट्स स्टार्ट विद यू बट यू लुक द यू लुक द ओल्डेस्ट हियर सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द मोस्ट सीनियर पर्सन हियर एक बार बैलेंस कम्युनिटी स्पोर्ट्स एसोसिएशन स्टैब्लिश Quite a while ago, regarding um, I used to play in a local um, in, in Valence Road in Guzmani School. Mm -hmm. So what happened? And so at that time, there were young people from surrounding area in, in, in Tamlets, and Junior you know, was approaching me to you know to join the and start coaching them and you know as a uh, uh, coaching knowledge. And then uh, and then uh, were, were you were you actually a coach then? I mean. Um, I wasn't qualified. Yeah. I wasn't qualified then, but I had coaching experience, especially mm -hmm. work with other clubs. And um, so after that, joined them, and you know, we, we entering the BFA league, and then winning that uh, division, and then following year winning the cup, and then we started getting you know, quite serious. So it started, started off just a team. Just a team, one football team. The know to sit down in Valence Road was my school. Yeah. And um, young boys, uh, and was was it, it's, it's an excellent memory. And then, then we carried on and playing BFA league and etc. And then generation came along. On my left, you can see Hamid. He was a nine years old, young boy. It's ten now, isn't he? Well, <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> and he came along, and he's 22 now, and he's a coach. And I feel really, really honoured and really happy. Come through the system. System, and then he's a, he's a level two coach, and he's doing exceptionally well through the session. Okay, then I'll come back to you in a second. Now, um, Shaimu. You're yeah, a very talented young man, because I've witnessed it myself on a few occasions. Mm -hmm. you, play, you play in goal. Now, <coughs> what and why do you think, you know, Valence 
is the club for you to be part of? Um, there's, as you can see, good coaches here. Mm -hmm. um, when I was young, I didn't get the chance because I wasn't a goalkeeper when I was young. I was a defender. Defender. And but my dad wanted me to be a defender until I changed my mind. And then, yeah, I became a goalkeeper. But That's because he's a defender. Yeah, I know. And he's a lousy one as well. <laughs> Yeah, go on. Yeah, yeah, and then <laughs> as years went on, um, there was coaches, goalkeeper coaches, and you know, and then I took place, mm. and then I became a coach, and it's good because there's potential out there, you know, there's good players out there, and they need to be recognised. Of course, I think yeah. So as as a goalkeeper, yeah, you know, you, you know, I I think in the past in our community yeah. we've had many goalkeepers, but most of them were like four foot tall. Mm. Yeah, uh, it's true though, isn't it? Yeah. You know, the good ones. But you, you know, you've got a humble, you've got the height, you've got the build. How confident are you in yourself that you can, you can reach a better level? Um, I'm confident. Yep. Um, He's got a lot to learn. I'm 17 now. Okay. So I still got, for a goalkeeper, is a baby. You can go age up to 30 and you still can make it, but Absolutely. You know, there's there, but I think. Asian, the Asian community, we need to recognize the goalkeepers more. Mm. Because when you go to training session, all the parents want them to become a striker. striker. They love with Van Persie, they want them to become yeah, yeah, Chelsea, yeah. but then I recognize that these, there are good Asian goalkeepers out there and they need to be recognized. Absolutely. Well said. Thanks, Trainer. Well, Hamidou, let me come to you now. A senior player now and a, a coach of Valence, but you started when you were just nine. Yeah. Do you remember those days? Just about, uh, I was first introduced from to Valence from Janelle. Yeah. Uh, he's my uncle, so <laughs> that's how I first knew it. And then um, just yeah. just playing throughout the club, it was just good experience. Both and then. But do you actually remember the first day that you introduced? I do remember to the Valence first day. In your nine. Like Shaino said, I went in there and I thought I was a striker. Until Iqbal, he told me no chance, <laughs> and then I got shifted back into defence. But um, to this day, I still think I'm a good striker. You still but he's think so, okay. Still, um, still a defender. But the club, not just for me, but it helped develop us as a person and mm. not just as a footballer. Okay, so you've been through the different coaching yeah. Uh, qualifications, yeah? Yeah, I started off with my level one when I was 18 years old, so mm -hmm. about four years ago and um, then just slowly started going from training sessions to first team I actually coached was with Shino in the team so um, back then he was a defender and <laughs> then I he's being modest he's a very good player as a defender he was good but then I remember one cup final he went in goal and he saved us we won the then cup you final his potential. yeah and then at the same time I was doing my level two as well okay so so are you on level two now yeah I've been level two for fantastic uh, yes well done Janelle, believe it or not, me and Janelle used to play in the same team <laughs> for many, many years. He was my goalkeeper. I played with him, then I managed him. Janelle, yes. good old days. It was. Bring it back. <laughs> yeah, um, just touching on yeah, the go. history, like Robert Gold mentioned, uh, we started off like many organisations in Tahamlets Hamlets with just one football club, a couple of footballs, and basically our time. Five bibs. Five bibs, yeah. yeah. We literally gave up a lot of our time and we had a vision, a dream to set something up. And since then, we've never imagined how big it would be. But like he said, we were just one football club, Valence Football Club, entered the Summer League, uh, finished runners up to uh, one of the good clubs now. Mm. And actually, in 2001, uh, that's when we both, after getting our qualifications in FA Level 2, we decided to expand. We just came back from a tour with, from Holland. Uh, with, with the team? With the team, yeah, with the mm. actual senior team. Yeah. We, uh, while we were in Torino, we went to Ajax, as you know, one of the best youth pod, um, <coughs> systems they've got. We sat down with one of the coaches and what he told us, do you have a youth team? We said no. First thing he said was set that up and it would set you up for the future. Mm -hmm. When we come back to, the, back to London, we sat down and thought, let's start that. And we knew we would take up most of our time because back then we were both volunteers. Um, so we knew there's a long road ahead, but we stuck to it. Um, and mm -hmm. I said to this day, we're reaping the rewards for that, as you can see by the VT. So, what would you say, you know, is the the ultimate aim of Valence Community Sports Association? What what gives you satisfaction? Oh, okay, that's it's good you said that. Our yeah. satisfaction. I've said this many times. Him, 
of all the sessions we do and all the kids that we coach, if they don't become a professional in the sport they do, as long as they become a good human being, that makes us happy. As like mm. a perfect example is um, Hamidu Islam uh, coming to us as a nine-year-old. He's not mentioning it, but he just finished his law degree, so oh, wow. um, which is good. Like so we good. feel we have a part to play in these young guys' future mm -hmm. because they go school week and they look forward to coming training on a Saturday, playing on a Sunday. So you know, like I said, even when we took them away from the streets for two hours, yeah. we know that they've been with us and they've kept out of trouble. Like he's one example and many, well. many, many examples, you know, too many to name. One of our coaches, Mohammed Rul Islam, he come to us at 16 year old. Today's a father of four, deputy head in Bishop Challenge School. Oh, well. wow. Yeah, so he's a trustee he, as well. He's a trustee, yeah, plus he does always mention us in meetings and says, look, Valence, it's because of Valence. So that's our pride, you know. They don't Absolutely. make us professional sportsmen. As long as they become good human beings, we're happy. Absolutely. That, that's what wakes us up on a, early on a Saturday to pick up the minibus. On a Sunday, picking up the minibus, dropping it off. We both go home, we ring each other. You know, we'll find out the results, but the result isn't everything. Yeah. You know, I'll say who turned up, who didn't turn up, or he was there, his parents were there. And the most important thing is, you know, we're all, pa we're all parents here. Yeah, yeah, of course. We know that without the parents' help, it's very hard. We'll, we'll come back to yeah. the parents and the involvement. Um, let me just go back to Iqbal again. Now, Iqbal, I think um, one thing that we need to really discuss <coughs> is the importance of, you know, people volunteering, you know, and being part of an organisation like Balance. Now, Obviously, you guys rely heavily on volunteers as well, don't you? Because without yeah, volunteers, yeah, can't it's do very that. difficult. Yeah. So, did you, you know, when you started Valence, uh, but you're, you know, you're involved with other clubs before Valence, yeah. But voluntary is very important, isn't it? Very important. Why well, I say voluntary? Because you have to have passion. Firstly, that we all love, love football, and um, as due to my injury, early stages, I had to sort of, you know, give up football. And when Valence came up. It was an opportunity for me to mm. uh, excel my experience with them. And then from there, we took it, as I said, the one team. Now I can sit down and some, some I can remember years ago, it was when we had two games in a row, picking the minibus, picking the under 12 and under 14. Mm. And I was knackered. And do I say, am I doing the right thing? And sometimes I sit down now. Yeah. We've got nine, 10 teams and over 140 participants in the Saturday wow. session. And uh, it's not easy. Uh, you know, a lot of sacrifice, especially home as well, you know, of course. Yeah, to yeah, get yeah. commitment and, um, and that hard work pays off. And not only that, now we created a platform where we have to educate our parents as well. And they know that when they come along with the children, uh, we've got gear now, you know, you get, when they get member registration, yeah, yeah, yeah. they get jackets and t-shirts, so everyone has to be uh, fully well. uh, in uniform, like school-wise. And it looks lovely. And it te teaches them not only just football, it's like an education. As I said that, I pay for my son when he goes to year seven and eight, get private tuition to get good GCC results. Mm. And he will do that if I do that. But in sports as well, you have to think about like education. Mm. Now my son can't, but I don't think once a week, if you want to make it to high level, then he has to be get private coach. And he, he had private coaching sessions with some very good coaches. And then that's why he's probably there. If I gave him more time, not too much in balance, maybe a different level. <laughs> But due to my com uh, commitment with Valence, maybe. But that's why volunteer is very important. That's why we are creating a platform for youth level. So yeah. we have 16 and 17 that come and coach for us on the Saturday, and then they do level one. Right. After that, level one more year, if they do more better, they do the level two. So such as my, me and my colleague, you know, you know we've done a B license, um, level three, and people say, why don't you go for your A license? A lot of, lot of time. It's time, it's time. It's time and effort yeah, as well. And then, you know, well, do we have that time? And this is something that we can think of further. And, um, but that's why our vision is that to create the young people and when they reach 15 and 16, to get them qualified, such as Hamid, and then they can, who knows, after me and Juno, we have to, you know, <laughs> pack our bags up and give yeah. it to someone else. Hopefully not too yeah. soon. Yeah. <laughs> um, Shainur, let me come back to you again. You know, you also came through the system at the Valence Youth. Uh, you know, now you're a senior player, uh, not just for Valence, but you're also a senior player for the community. You know, you represent Sporting Bengal, which is seen as the, the representative national team of Bangladeshis in the UK. Um, now, what, what is it in coaching that you look for, right? You're a coach now yourself, yeah? yeah? Now, imagine, put yourself back 10 years when you're a young boy going to coaching with these coaches. What was it you look for in your coach? What kind of information, what kind of um, support do you think is important for um, coaches? Well, I'm a goalkeeper coach. Mm -hmm. So 
um, most managers, what they tend to do is, for instance, little kids, they're playing football, they put the they the fattest player there and they put him in goal and be like, you stick in goal. Because he's big. Yeah, because he's big. Right. So they just stereotype that and just put him in goal. Right. And it'll take That's a really good him. point, actually. Well done. Yeah, go And on. what is, it's not fair on the kid because maybe he wants to play a different Absolutely. Position. So it's important to look at things like this that because yeah. when I was a young kid, I didn't, there, was, there wasn't a goalkeeper in our team because you have like a defender playing goal. There wasn't a really right. a strong keeper, you know, in the future, he's going to be a good keeper. So, right. so there wasn't none of that. So when I coach now, I want to find the best keeper. So I work with a range of keepers and I, they take off every week. There will, some other people come with, I want to be a goalkeeper. So I'll coach them. But those who willingly want to be a yeah. goalkeeper. Yeah. Because 10, like, 10 years down the line, you never know, they might become a very good goalkeeper. So mm -hmm. you've got to give them attention. Like the system Absolutely. we've got at the, uh, the site of the coaching session is that, like I tell all our coaches, when you get a boy that's in year one, which is like a five, six year old, they all want to be Lionel Messi mm. or Cristiano Ronaldo. What I tell our coaches is let them be what they want to be for the next, up until year three. And yeah. that's when as a coach, you can decide, you know, we always say, oh, you have to be in goal. We, we have a say, but we, we give them that choice. Like Shana says, the tall one might be the centre back or the short one might be the right back. Um, this is what we, you know. Yeah, that's how, like, yeah, all okay. that, even, yeah. even I see at Valence, the coach is like, oh, he's good enough to be a centre-back. I say, no, no, watch them, d let them develop, and then we choose. Like Shana said, he, I think it was under-14s, was he went in goal. But I knew he was a good goal before that because his school teacher, the, the school likes to be a football coach, used to say, oh, Shana was in de defence, we were playing goal for the school. And I said, no, he's a better defender. But then, like Hamid said, it was by luck. We put him in goal in the cup final, he done really good, yeah, and he, he just decided he stays in goal. So if Chano did have that coaching from a young age, you know, we don't know where he would be. He'd be, but he's, I mean, you know, the, but like the, I said from the beginning, he has got still a lot to learn. The national team of course he has, of course. He yeah. stepped the national team, came along and gave people remarks for him. Yeah, that was, was coach, yeah. Yeah. the national team of Bangladesh uh, last April. They came for trials, didn't they? They came for trials, yes. And what we were told, we found after it was trivia that he only chose, if you had to choose, he would choose one player and it was uh, Shino. So was wow, there. it's amazing. Yeah. And he didn't actually play good that day. That's what he I didn't? Thought. I didn't think so, but they actually <laughs> chose him. So. Well, right, how, do? how do you manage to find the time with your studies, you know, and volunteering and work with Valence? How do you do it? Just from, from an early age, we would just set boundaries. Say, say for instance, my parents, they'd tell me, to get all your homework and stuff out of the way so then you can concentrate on mm. the football. So even now I apply that to my coaches, co coaching. So when I'm, sometimes I coach the under 10s and the 12s we have on a Saturday morning and then we have our training session after, afterwards. So I know my Saturdays are dedicated to football. Right. Even okay. your Sundays when you're playing, because as you know, me and Shannon were playing the senior side. Mm -hmm. So again, that's more or less my weekend gone. But it's, if you can manage it at, from an early age, it helps out with your coaching Absolutely. wise as well. Yeah. And um, same thing applies to our pl players, because I know parents are told, a lot of from our parents, if they don't get their homework done and stuff, they'll give me a call on a Friday night, they'll say, do you really need him? If not, he's, this is the reason why he hasn't done his Oh, homework, right, okay. so it's a way of getting discipline nice, nice from an early age. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. <coughs> anyway, we are... Uh, we, I, I hope we've tried to um, give you some information about Valence and the work they do in the community. We're going to take a short break. Please stay with us, uh, grab yourself a tea and coffee and come back and find out more about Valence and how you can get involved. See you after the break. <laughs> 